I can't explain to you how many times a person walked into our grocery store and another member who walked in, he's like, I haven't seen my friend for 25 years. And apparently they met at the grocery store. And I sat there scratching my head, I'm like, oh my God, only in New York this could happen. They left Pakistan and they happened to shop in a grocery store here in New York, in little Pakistan. They're like, oh my God, we didn't have Facebook back then. That's how these guys got a chance to beat. Prior to 9-11, every community member that was coming here was not just from within the vicinity here. They were coming from Virginia, Maryland, Connecticut, upstate, New Jersey, to get the ethnic foods, the sweets, the halal meats, and it, it just flourished. After 9-11, there was a huge exodus because of the special registration program, that fear factor expanded. When COPA was founded, all we did was put up a sign, ESL classes and legal services. Just for ESL classes, I had 300 people register on the first day. One thing leads to another. It's like opening up a can of worms. Every year, we calculated we're servicing 10,000 people. Look how big you are. 10,000 people, that's a lot of people. What was supposed to be a temporary outlet, it's been 15 years almost now. <laughs> I found out, because of the surveys, how many kids were afraid of police. They were afraid of fire department. They were afraid of city officials. And these are American kids. So I started one of the most important things for the youth. It involves FBI, Homeland Security, Secret Service, NYPD, Fire Department. The agents and the children, they get a chance to have a one-on-one -on -one dialogue. When I first started this, I only had five groups with me. I had 25 Muslim groups against me. They said, no, we cannot sit at the table with the agencies. And I said, no, we should, we have to. Now I have over 30 groups with me. I learned when I seen the hate crimes that the Jewish community was at the top of the list, and then it was the African-American community. And I was like, oh my God, it's not just us. I had to ultimately change the name for Council of Pakistan to Peoples. You know, we're taught, when you die, God's gonna ask you, what did you do for mankind? Not what did you do for yourself? These are the things that keep me going. I mean, otherwise, I mean, what is there?